Welcome back to another episode. Guys, welcome to Sorrento or the Sorrento Peninsula. And I want to share in this episode why Sorrento is a very special place. So the Sorrento Peninsula or Sorrentine Peninsula is a peninsula located in southern Italy which separates the Gulf of Naples to the north from the Gulf of Salerno to the south. The peninsula is named after its main town Sorrento which is located on the north coast or Gulf of Naples. The Amalfi Coast is located on the southern side. The Lattari Mountains form the geographical backbone of the peninsula. The island of Capri lies off the western tip of the peninsula in the Tyrrhenian Sea. The whole area is an important tourist destination. Before you arrive in Sorrento, in the main town, you will pass first from Meta di Sorrento. After Meta di Sorrento is Piano di Sorrento. The next is Sant'Agnello and Sorrento, which is the main town in the peninsula Sorrentina. From the Sorrento coast, views sweep along the bay to Naples, Mount Vesuvius, and across the water to the island of Capri. Sorrento itself may well be the ideal destination as it offers seaside splendor coupled with easy access to other points of interest. You can take a train to Pompeii or Naples, a ferry to Capri, and buses or boats to the other towns strung along the Amalfi Coast. There are also three neighbor islands in Sorrento, which you will see. The first is Capri, the second is Ischia, and the third is Procida. Sorrento is a city for relaxing and enjoying the best of southern Italian hospitality. There's no need to rush in Sorrento. Just simply stroll, wander, and enjoy the sweet life, or it's called La Dolce Vita in Italian. There are a lot of things to do here in Sorrento. First is you need to see the views of the Bay of Naples, which is in the Villa Comunale. This lovely park with beautiful gardens and floral displays is known for stunning views over the Bay of Naples with Mount Vesuvius looming in the background. On a clear day, it's also possible to see the islands of Ischia and Procida in the distance. Visit at sunset to enjoy one of the most romantic vistas in Sorrento. From the park, you can also walk or take the lift down to the port known Next as Marina Next is relaxing Piccola. in Piazza Tasso. Piazza Tasso is Sorrento's main square and the place to go for aperitif and people watching. The piazza commemorates Torquato Tasso, a prolific 16th century poet born in the city. Ask for an outside table at Faunu Bar for the best views of the goings on in the area. An April spritz is a great choice in summer, but we can also vouch for the decadent hot chocolate. This street here is called the Corso Italia or the main square street which is only possible for people next is a strolling the laneways just steps from piazza tasso you'll find via san cesario known to the locals as the vicoletto or laneways this characterful area is where the local shops for fruit and vegetables you'll also find boutiques selling locally made goods and of course the Lamancello. Aside from that, there are also lots of souvenir shops, coffee bars, and restaurants. In the evening, the laneways come alive with locals and visitors enjoying an evening stroll or night out at one of the many cafes and restaurants. 
Next is you can visit also Marina Grande. It's an easy 15 minute walk down to the fishing village of Marina Grande from Villa Comunale. Sorrento's fishing port has a charming village atmosphere with colorful boats and restaurants overlooking the sea. Go in the morning to see the catch of the day unloaded by the local fishermen or make a plan for lunch or dinner to try tasty dishes straight from the sea and enjoy fine dining at the restaurants with the fresh seafoods looking by the magical atmosphere of the stunning views over the Bay of Naples. Next is enjoy the taste of Sorrento. Thanks to abundant local produce and an inbuilt passion for food and wine, Sorrento is simply a great place to eat. The city's proximity to Naples means you can easily find a delicious pizza if that's what you crave. As is, you can dine in in a lemon grove. Sorrento is known for its citrus fruits and abundance of lemons. As you wander through the town, keep your eye out for small lemon groves and trees hidden among the buildings. Locals continue to cultivate the fruit as part of their culture and of course to make Sorrento's most famous export lemoncello liqueur and of course for the most ultimate and elegant lemon grove dining experience look no further than O Parochiano La Favorita this is the historic restaurant has been serving classic dishes within their lemon garden since 1868 they even claim to have invented cannelloni next is you can do also a cooking class here in Sorrento I think the great souvenir to take home from your vacation is a new school and when you learn to cook dishes local to Sorrento, a trip there is only by the way. These cooking classes in Sorrento are lots of fun. You can do pizza making class, local cooking class and a lot more. Next is you can take also a day trip to Capri, the Amalfi Coast or Pompeii. Many people use Sorrento as a base to explore the Amalfi and Sorrentine coast and to access the ruins of Pompeii. The city is perfectly situated for a day trip to Positano, both rides down the Amalfi coast and across the islands of Capri and Ischia as well as discovering historic Naples close by. You can use the local Circumvisobiana train to reach Pompeii and Naples and the ferries to visit Capri, the Amalfi Coast and Ischia. From May to October, ferries run regularly up and down the coast. Take the local Sita bus to towns along the Amalfi Coast if you're visiting out of season or you suffer from seasickness. If you prefer a private guide experience there are lots of tours departing from sorrento you can do a boat tour to capri a malfi coast boat tour or pompeii tour from sorrento you can always ask in the excursions agency there are lots of agencies for tourists in sorrento Next is you can go shopping in the old town. Sorrento is a shopping paradise. You can head to Via San Cesareo and the surrounding laneways or the small ways and browse the boutiques. You'll find artisan made ceramics and inlaid wooden items called intarsia plus colorful local fashions. You will see a lot of handmade like sandals, um, linen dresses to shops and a lot more next is relaxing by the water sorrento is not known for wide sandy beaches as the sorrentine coastline is rocky but you can enjoy swimming in the beautiful bay of naples waters and lounging in the sun at one of the popular beach clubs or bathing platforms a short walk from the old town and Piazza Tasso, you'll find beach clubs at Marina Piccola. Here you can rent 
a beach chair starting from around 12 euros. The umbrella will cost extra. Or you can go at Bagni della Regina Joanna. There is a small free beach and a protected bay with, with clear sparkling waters. To get there, take the local bus to Capo di Sorrento about a 10 minute ride and walk down. Take note that the path is quite steep so may not be suitable for those with mobility issues. And if you have a little more time, take the local Cita bus to Marina Cantone or Nerano. Here you'll find a gorgeous bay overlooking the Tyrrhenian Sea where you can eat lunch in the waterfront and soak up the amazing views. The bus takes you through little villages with olive groves and lemon trees and you can see the grapes growing for the local wines. It only costs a few euros, takes about 45 minutes. Next is you can also do outdoor and adventure activities on the coast. While Sorrento is a great place to relax and enjoy the scenery, you can also enjoy some outdoor fun and adventure. You can do walking and hiking. There are many hiking trails in the area. Once donkey routes, these stone paths wind from village to village through lemon and olive groves and offer beautiful scenes of the Campania countryside. A popular short road takes you from Sorrento's Piazza Tasso to Massa Lubrense, where you can catch the bus back to Sorrento. The one-way journey takes around 90 minutes. You can do also travel further afield. The famous Path of the Gods trail near Positano is one of the world's classic hikes and can be easily managed from Sorrento. Nearest airport is Napoli Capodichino. And from the airport, there is a bus you can take to Sorrento. And transportation within the city, there is a, a public bus or train. So if you're planning to visit Italy, don't forget to visit also Sorrento Coast and a mouthy coast.
go visit here. Um, here in Italy, you must pass here. Visit also some fine books over here. Very nice. This is the giant Christmas tree of this year. So here, you will find also the uh, lots of uh, Europe flags. Italian, France, Germany, Italy for blood, Germany, and all else. Uh, France and so on. There is the stairs beside here in these uh, lots of flags here. There's a long stairs to go down. So this is the, the street where you arrive in the port. Okay? So this is the Marina Piccola for usually for uh, for the ferries. 